How's it going everybody? This is Dean Ross and today we're going to be talking about crop sensors. How's it going? Welcome back to Easily Explain, the video series where we do stuff really easily. It's super easy. You'll follow along. It's going to be super quick too. Wow, what a, what a treat. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are not, eh, what's up dude? I'll go back. So if you have any interest in photo or video, one of the things that you'll hear a lot is crop sensor or you'll see ASPC, you'll see micro four thirds, all the other ones, yada, yada, yada. But what do those mean? So a crop sensor is exactly what it sounds like. It's literally your sensor cropped in. So if you take an image and you punch it in by 1.5 times crop aspect ratio, then you're gonna get a Nikon or Sony ASPC sensor. And if you do it by 1.6, then you're gonna get the Canon ASPC sensor. And if you do it by a full two times, then you're gonna get the micro four thirds. I found this diagram online that represents uh, an easy way to kind of understand how it works. So right here you have a 35 millimeter full frame sensor. So what that means is that what your lens sees, what your camera sees is actually true to scale. So if I'm shooting on a 24 to 70 right now, then uh, at 24 focal length, it's going to be a true 24 and at 70 millimeters, it's going to be true 70. So if you've ever cropped in on a photo or a video, uh, you notice that you lose quality a little bit. So if you were to two times crop into a uh, 1080p video, you're going to significantly lose quality overall. So when you're buying a lens and you have an ASPC camera, you want to understand the crop factor for it. So if you have a Canon ASPC camera, which is like a Rebel T3i, Canon 70D, you're going to have a crop factor of 1.6. So if you're looking at lenses, if you're looking to get a 10 to 22, the focal equivalent of that is gonna be a 16 to 35, around 35. So what you have to do is you have to take the lens and then multiply it by 1.6. So if you have a crop sensor camera and you're looking to get a wide angle lens, basically the lowest focal length that you can go to is gonna be about 16 with the crop factor. So take a look at your camera, give it a Google, see what crop factor it is. Um, and then when you're buying a lens, take into account the focal lengths. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please leave a comment, hit that notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep killing it.